हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी डिस्कस द अनदर एक्टिविटी दैट इज द एक्टिविटी थर्ड दैट इज रिलेटेड विद द एन चैप्टर थर्ड सो अवर टॉपिक इज टू फाइंड द कंडीशन फॉर द कंसिस्टेंसी एंड इनकंसिस्टेंसी फॉर द सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल बाय द ग्राफिकल मेथड सो अवर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज Y graphical method to find the system of equation in two variable. So generally we use the equation that is a one x plus b one y plus c one equal to zero, a two x plus b two y plus c two equal to zero. So if there is unique solution, so a one upon a two is not equal to b one upon b two. If there is no solution, so a one upon a two equal to b one upon b two, but not equal to c one upon c two. And if these equation have infinite many solution, so a one upon a two equal to b one upon b two equal to c one upon c two. So material be required that is graph paper and geometry box. Graph paper and geometry box. So topic is to find the condition. Again, we write this topic on plane side. Right. So, come to the first equation. We have used the next step that is the presentation. Right. That is preparation. Here yeah, we can use it presentation. So, let the first point consider a pair of linear equation. Two linear equation consider. That is first two x minus three y minus six equal to zero x minus two y minus five equal to zero. So find at least three pair of solution for each equation. So first equation is two x minus three y minus six equal to zero. So if x equal to zero, y become minus two x equal to three y equal to y x equal to minus three y equal to minus four. And for the second equation, x minus two y minus five equal to zero. So x equal to one, y equal to minus two, x equal to three, y equal to minus one. If x equal to five, y become zero. Now we plot the graph for that equation. When we plot the graph and we use these point, you find that the graph are intersecting at this point. So point is become minus three minus four. So it means when we plot the graph, it will become intersect to each other. So if intersecting point is there, so it means you equation have unique solution and unique solution. So condition is become a one upon a two is not equal to b one upon b two. If the pair of equation have unique solution, so it means the given pair of equation is consistent. So it's become consistent. So our topic is consistent and. Now we take the second. So another to prove the second one, we can also take to another equation that is three x plus two y minus twelve equal to zero. Three x plus two y minus two equal to zero. That is another two equation. We find the three solution for each equation, and similarly we plot the graph and we look at the conditions. It's A one upon A two become one, B one upon B two become one, C one upon C two become six. So it means A one upon A two equal to B one upon B two, but not equal to C one upon C two. So when we plot the graph, you find that it's become the parallel lines. It's become parallel lines. It's a parallel lines. So if they are not intersect with each other, so it means there is no solution. So it's become no solution. And the given pair of equation, that given pair of equation is inconsistent. So given pair of equation become inconsistent, right? So let me take the for the another part. That is another two equation. That is x plus y equal to seven, three x plus three y equal to twenty one. So we plot again graph. Find the three solution and plot the graph. And you find that in this equation, the condition is become a one upon a two equal to one upon three, b one upon b two equal to one upon three, c one upon c two also equal to one upon three. If threes are equal, so graph the pair 
you get the graph the graph is become the same line so that is become same line that is coincident lines that is called coincidence lines they are appearing on same lines so in k in this case it's a infinite many solutions are there that is infinite many solutions are there and the lines the given lines it that is become consistent the given line of equation is become consistent so for these all activities we observe that a pair of intersecting line and a pair of coincidence lines in, in these two case the equations become consistent and if the pair of equation is a parallel line so that is inconsistent line. so we can also write the result on this plane side this result is also lie on the plane sides right so that's about your activity third thank you and have a nice day